Today we're gonna be filling this aquarium right here with tons of fish from this tide pool and from the creepy tide pool spot. So let's try to find the coolest stuff possible, fill this aquarium with tons of fish. <sighs> Got him! There is loads and loads and loads of fish. Holy crap! Oh my God, here he goes! <sighs> Look at the net, ladies and gents. It's blue! It's a pee -pee. So we got our tank here. This is a 29 gallon, you can round up, 30 gallon aquarium, 30 gallon tank here. And we're gonna be focusing on the left side of the bridge today. We have two typos here, but I'm, I'm dialing in on this side, I feel it. There's loads of fish around. I think it's gonna get epic, it's gonna get crazy. We're gonna start with getting this thing filled with sand, water, maybe a couple rocks for structure, and then we're gonna start adding those awesome fish. Let's see if we can find around here. We've been on a hot streak at this spot recently. There is loads of stuff around. You can count on the fish guys to find it. And check out the tide pool today. It is actually crystal clear. I can see all the way straight down to the bottom. I did bring the GoPro, so I'm gonna try to get some clips of the tide pool in the water. I'm gonna do both. See if we can find any cool fish around. It's super windy today. It's like 30 mile an hour winds. So that makes the fish a little bit weird sometimes, but check out the pool. There's our tank. But we're gonna get this thing filled. Jack, you're up, brother. I just belged a burp. I don't know if they heard it. I hope they didn't. Are we adding sand to this lovely? Yes. So Jack's gonna start with the tank here. You gotta obviously make it look good before anything. You gotta have sand in there. You gotta have maybe a rock and then some water. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna try to catch the coolest fish possible to actually put in this tank. This is a great location. Look at that in the sunlight right there, guys. That is gonna look so nice. All right, gotta get sand from right here, Chris. Some lovely, lovely sand right here. Wanna go with a little bit more of a wet sand? You get the dry, it might get a little cloudy. Tech tip of the week. Uh, give me some sand. Got a little bit of a seashell action in here as well. Just try to make it look natural. This sand smells. Some nice looking sand here we got, guys. We're gonna go see how that sits in the bottom of the tank. Let's go. Let's get that sand action in there, ladies and gents. <laughs> that is actually way more sand than I anticipated. Slosh it around. Get it real nice in the bottom here. Is that good? Let me add a little bit of water. Get a little bit of water in there. Get it a little, get a little thinned out. I think we're good. So here's our tank. There's the sand. First step is complete. Now we gotta get some water, you guys. That's gonna be easy right here. I don't know how many buckets this is gonna take. This is a 30 gallon aquarium with a, I don't know how many gallon bucket. So give me some time here. We're gonna get this thing filled. The good part is, is that as we're looking around here, there's so many, like there's fish at our feet. Look at your feet. There's literally fish all at our feet, little sand perch, little puffers. We haven't even dove into the tide pools yet. So we're just gonna fill this bad boy up. Then we're gonna get to fishing. We got our water inside there. We gotta give it a little bit of time for it to settle, but just give it a little bit and it's gonna be very, very nice, very, very clear. I guess we might as well start looking for fish now. So let's get to it. Guys, look at this little nest right here. There's so many mullet. Let me get my net. Oh, crap. Dude, I don't think it's... Lost eyes. Right there. Got him. It's a lot of glass minnows. That's not everything that it is though. I think there's pilchards. I think there's pilchards and uh, mullet mixed in there as well. There's a, there's a feeding frenzy going on. I gotta fix my hat. Guys, I'm recovering from sickness. I'm... That was not the right net to use. No, but look at all those fish. The problem is there that is these fish are on the, the fish over there. They're on the smaller side and my net's gonna get gilled. Let me get my fish guy bucket hat coming soon on. <laughs> we see those comments. Don't worry, people. We're bringing it to you. Look at, look at all those fish. Look at the fish right there on the beach. Look at how many fish are right here. There is loads and loads and loads of fish. Those look like all sand perch and I think I'll be able to actually net some of those. Let me see, you gotta be like a bird. <sighs> Got him! Triple, triple sand perch. There is loads of these guys all throughout here. Broke the net in half, broke the net in half. Oh my God. <sighs> Pulled out the extendo clip, oh! Holy crap, I got a boatload. So many of these sand perch, we're catching them literally with ease, with literal ease. This is a good first fish to add. Look, but seriously guys, we got a ton of them. Look at, look at the water right there. All that black looks like literal mud, but it's straight fish. It's straight fish. All of these guys mixed in with some mullet. Such good baits right there. Glass minnows as well. Let's go ahead and get our bucket. Sorry about your dad. I pulled out the extendo clip, broke it. It's all right. So as you guys can see, there's clearly a ton of fish around this area. I don't know why this spot has been magical recently. Just 
thousands of fish absolutely everywhere. Thousands of sand perch, thousands of pilchard, thousands of glass minnows, bunch of hermit crabs, tons of shrimp underneath the rocks, fish inside the tide pool. The fish are absolutely everywhere today. And we're, I don't know why Jack is using this net right now and we could use the cast net, but he's They're really- gonna get gills. He's really gung-ho on the big stick net right now. But I'm sure we're gonna move on and we're looking to load that tank with as many fish as possible. And the first step of the day is getting these little bait fish in the pond. And there's already a ton of them around. So it's really easy pickings. Jack's trying to finish it off. You just broke my net. I, I don't. Just Why does everything you touch of mine, you break it? Dude, you know, I try to use the benefits of the ca of the net and it didn't work. You I'm know, still working on our, on our perch here. You know, they say you break it, you buy it. That's true. That was about $30. Here we go, Chris. Oh, crap. Gotta be more like a bird. <sighs> Different species unlocked. Only one though, different species unlocked. We're just starting with all the silverfish. Little baby pilchard. We're gonna add him to the bucket and then we're gonna get this whole cluster of all these little baits here inside of the bucket. Let's go get them inside here and then we're gonna go at them. Holy, there's, there's fish everywhere. All right, let's get this little pilch in there. So we got these guys, little sand perch right there. And then we got our new little pilchard that we discovered inside there as well. And there's so many more fish right here, watch this. Wasn't a good, good, wasn't a good strike. You suck at it, dude. You need to let me do it, bro. Sitting a little deep. Holy hell. You need to let me do it. Do you want it? Do you Loads. want me to actually catch fish? I mean, I'm way better. Your skills are lacking, bro. You're not stealthy at all. Can, can I show you how to do it, please? Got none. Now, Jack doesn't know the technique. Like you guys know, I know the technique. You have to be a flying bird. You mm. can't just be a bird from the land. You gotta be a pelican. You need to be a pelican diving on them, bro. I'm more of a heron. Yeah, you're more of a sit and, and walk through the water. No, I dive on them. So just get, let me get my chance and then I'm gonna strike. I'm gonna strike and we're gonna get at least five. Over under five for me. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, guys, there, there's- They're all on the bottom, bro. There's the attempted fish. Oh my God, here he goes. <sighs> Looking like a fail. Looking like a fail. Look at them all swim by you, yeah. They're all on the bottom, bro. I can't get them on the bottom. Here goes the bird. Here goes the pelican. It's the sigh of defeat. That's defeat. I'm soaked now. Or nothing. <laughs> on your face. It's good, I had to get the energy up. <laughs> First round of fish going inside. Here we go. Let me show you guys what we got. We got a cluster of beautiful perch. Great, gonna add some texture to the bottom. Actually, we have a bunch of them and uh, we're gonna get these guys inside. Here we go. There they go inside. You know, the tank really does need a little bit more time to settle. As you guys can see, it's a little bit of a yellow tint. Maybe there's a little bit of debris inside there, but as we wait, it should only get more and more clear. And we still have a lot more fish to catch, a lot better fish to catch. So for the grand finale, I hope it'll be really nice and clear. We got another Earl right here. Look at that Earl. Look at that Earl right there. Nice looking perch, nice Earl perch right there. All right, buddy, there you go. Speed demon. Little pilchard inside there as well. Perch, pilchards, you name it. We got them going inside there. Now we did get some smaller fish already in the tank, but I'm just seeing these little minnows, dude. I feel like we need some, Jack. I'm okay. sorry. There's a whole school of them right here. What is that? We're not You have to get golf. aggressive, man. You have to get aggressive. We're not playing golf. So look at that. Bunch of little minnows. We need some, at least a couple of these guys in the pond. Let's get them in. There's a neon touch. Hang on, let me see that. This is the neon tetra of the ocean. Hang on, there it is. Look at that neon tetra of the ocean. Wow. That's the neon tetra of the ocean. Get him in. Whoa. There, very nice, very. Very wow, good. They disappear into the dark. Yeah, we, we gotta. We really gotta get this tank cleared up. Let's just put the rest in. Let them jump out. There they are. Perfect. You gotta have. The there we go, fish. baby. You gotta have. You the gotta have. Fish. You gotta have the little fish in there. We added some glass minnows, some sand perch, a pilchard. Now we gotta start leveling up getting some bigger fish and getting some fish out of the big tide pool. That's the name of the game. I really want to snorkel in this thing, badly. Drop a like on this video. If it gets like, for me to go in the water, I hate going in the water. If this gets like 10,000 likes, I'll do a scuba diving, get in there with a little net and scoop everything out in, in both of the, of the tide pools. I think that'd be a cool video. I will get inside this tide pool with fins, flippers, a mask, the GoPro, and we will catch stuff out of here barehanded. You guys let me know by dropping a like on this video. Let's get some more fish for our aquariums. Guys, there's way too many fish over there for me not to throw the net. There's fish all over here to the right, fish all over here to the left. We're gonna go over there. And we're gonna go for hopefully a different species, the mullet. Let's go see if we can get it. We got a huge net here. We should catch so many fish. We might actually catch too many fish with that, dude. Literally. We're gonna. I'm honestly. Hey, they're gonna be worried. select, bro. 
They're I'm running. honestly a little worried. Why? Where's the mullet? There they are. Holy crap, Chris. Three, two, one. They're in the net, boys and girls. There's no way that they are not in the net. Holy crap, look at the net. Look at the net, ladies and gents. Look at this, look at all the fish inside the freaking net. Holy crap. From perch to pilchards to mullet, there's so many fish inside Dude, here. Dude, there's a thousand fish in there, there's bro. so many. That is a ridiculous amount of fish. There I don't think we so can put all those fish. in the aquarium. Screw it, put them all in. That's put them all in. Ha, 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 ha. Look at the amount of fish Jack caught in one throw. When I tell you guys there's fish everywhere, it's ridiculous at this spot now. Dude, I've never seen that many over there. Other than one time. Oh my God, I got some scumbags f***ing treble hook. No. That's it for this net. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to open the net now. Guys, what started at such a high just went to such a low. Some a-hole, bass hole decided to take their treble hook rig, their snag rig, throw it off the bridge. So somebody who, like me, who's a lovely fish guy, happy fish guy, gets to catch it in his cast net and ruin his day. So now we're trying to figure out how to get this out without putting a huge hole in my net and being able to let all these fish out. Got that treble hook out, baby. Let's get all these fish inside. So many freaking fish inside right there. That, I think, completes our bait journey. It's time to spice it up with some color, with some size, with a variety. I'm talking barracudas, needlefish, snappers, puffers, sergeant majors, who knows? We gotta get some elusive fish inside here. We got enough bait fish inside there to last us a freaking year. That is epic. Tons of fish inside. Let's start moving up. Let's level up. Let's start fishing in the tide pools. Catch some awesome fish. Let's do it. It's time to start having some fun inside of the tide pools. We're gonna use some frozen shrimp to call out the fish because a lot of them like to sit tucked up underneath the wall. So we're gonna see what we can catch everything. We're gonna catch as many different fish as we can. We're gonna put them all inside of the white bucket and then add it for one big hurrah inside of our tide pool aquarium that has probably a hundred fish inside right now. Got one, fish on. Little baby major, or actually, not a baby, we've seen much smaller ones inside of here, but a Sergeant Major nonetheless. Not the most vibrant Sergeant Major we've ever caught in our life. But uh, first fish from the tide pool. You know, there's like major. a million Sergeant Majors in there. Yeah, there's so many. After I threw those shrimp in there, so many of these guys came out. Here comes this yellow a little bit. You got a little yellow right there, but perfect first fish. There's a few more of these guys in there. We're gonna catch as many as we can, then get them inside the aquarium. There we go, there's another one. Weird fish, weird fish alert. Okay, what are we talking here? Possible toadfish? Possible no, poisonous. That's, a, that's the typical blenny we always catch like at the inlet and stuff. That is like the typical blenny. Believe it or not, these guys are like hella, hella aggressive and they love shrimp. He's might flop off the hook. But look at that fish right there. Cool looking little blenny. We catch these guys quite often. I still don't even know the exact name of what they are, but they look like a blenny. So that's why we call them blenny. So strange looking fish though, but hey, another species unlocked out of the tide pool. Strange blenny. So we crushed the fish out of that first tide pool. We caught like four or five different big sergeant majors and that blenny. And now it's time for the big boys to go into the pond. Our first color added to the aquarium. Our first color, some yellow, some blue, and that weird looking blenny, nice and brown. We're getting him into the aquarium. All right, guys, here we go. We got a good little school of sergeant majors. We're gonna go get this guy in here first. This guy's got that weird purple that we've never seen before. Very, very strange, weird purple. Let's get this guy inside. There you go, buddy. Very temporary, 10 minutes, sir, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. Another one right here. This guy's got a little mix. Strange color coming out of the tide pool, I'll tell you that much. Very, very strange looking color. There you go, bud. Got our strange looking blenny. Look at that blenny. What a sh ugly looking fish. Very, very ugly. And our last two Sergeant Majors going inside. There you go. That adds some color for sure, ladies and gents. Now let's see what else we can catch, what else we can find my fish this tide pool. I don't really know, but we'll put together a good aquarium. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, that's how you fling up a puffer fish, quick and easy. And there's a flurry of them right here along the baits. That's what Blue would do to it. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Blue's our dog. Little baby puffer fish getting added into our epic aquarium. Look at him, he's blowing up. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Can't have an aquarium without some nice puffer fish in there. We can probably catch a thousand here, but we already have so many fish in that tank. I think we're at capacity almost. We are getting there. We're crushing the fish today. 
All right, our first puffer of the tank going in the aquarium. Look at that guy, the classic leopard puffer. There he is, first one of the day. I don't know if we can even add any more. This tank is stocked, bro. We're full. We are full. That is a full aquarium. We got mullet. We got sergeant majors. We still could get some snappers and some more puffers. We're gonna we're gonna keep fishing, and we're actually gonna throw a big bait underneath the bridge. See so see if we get anything uh, of substantial size. Maybe a big snapper. That'd be nice. Fish on. No. What do we got? No. He's big in there. Snapper. We got some. He's no in way. the bridge. He's blue. It's blue. It's blue. Is that the, it's blue. It's a BP. It's, blue. it's, it's a blue. blueberry. It's blue. Dude, that could be the same one we caught in no, the fish trap. No, it's not. Trap. That's that's the OG. That's the OG yeah, blue. No, that's a regular blue parrot. Our it's the OG one, blue. The other one we caught in here was, I think this area is infested with, with parrotfish. We need to. <laughs> we, need to catch, <laughs> we need to catch one for the pond, bro. I know, that's mm -hmm. sick. Okay, keep here, buddy. Holy shit. The parrotfish are absolutely everywhere in this spot, bro. They're absolutely everywhere. This is our new parrotfish spot. I'm telling you guys right now, we need to catch one for the pond. I wish we could catch one for the pond and bring them home. You guys absolutely, totally wanted us to do that. And I think we dialed in the best spot to catch these blue guys at is at this bridge. They're absolutely all over the place. We're two for two on coming here and catching a blue parrotfish. That's insane. We need one for the pond. Sadly, we can't bring them home because we still have pots and pans. We're working on the, moving them to a new home in order to get some cooler and different fish besides pots and pans because they will absolutely swallow this guy in one second. Sadly, oh, I want to take him home so bad, but we I think we have found the blue parrot spot at this location. It's absolutely insane. Guys, what a freaking great finale right now. Back to back, blue parrot fish. One of them was caught inside, the other one was caught literally just on the outside because I think they like all these little barnacles right here. You guys know they have huge, huge teeth, so they just chew on all crazy stuff all day. So we got grand finale going inside right now, ladies and gentlemen. Dun 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 dun. Chris, it's gonna be close. Oh my god, our aquarium. I think it's gonna get it. We gotta dump it out. No, it's not gonna get it. You don't think? No, we're good. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. Holy crap, that was a little bit worrisome there. We thought we were about to get clotheslined. <laughs> Holy Oh my God, are we gonna? No, we should be. What's that blue line on the bridge? No, we're way good, we're way good. Oh my God, are we gonna? No, it's gonna stop. Is our aquarium about to get crushed? We're is good. Our, is our tank about to get crushed? Holy crap, I was actually worried there for a second. We made it, we made it. Literally just in time. We would have lost our head. Guys, take a look. We got our grand finale, the star of the show, the blue parrotfish, back-to-back -back times. The blue parrotfish is back-to-back -back champion inside of the tide pool spot. And uh, he looks really good in here amongst all of his little buddies. What an epic little tank we just put together. Now we're gonna go ahead, get everything released back to its home. This was an epic one, you guys. I'm stoked with how it turned out. Our tank has came together in a ridiculous fashion. This thing is absolutely top of the line, top notch, top tier aquarium that we made in about one hour. Me and Jack crushed this. We never paid for parking, so hopefully I don't have a ticket on my car. Oh my we literally never paid for parking. Okay, we're gonna get these guys out. I'm just gonna start with the blue parrot. He's literally been in here for less than a minute. We're gonna get him out and get him back home. He just flops so much that I'm, he's such a flop. He's such a flopper. Look at him, ready? I'm gonna just let him go off. Go, go, back, to, go back to your bridge. We're coming back for you though when we get rid of pots and pans. There he is, right there. Go to the bridge, go to the bridge. Every time we catch them, they like to hang out for a second. See ya, buddy. That was the best. Dude, this this spot is loaded with parent fish. We're coming back and we're getting three or four for the aquarium. Drop a like on this video if you guys think a blue parrot is in our future for the pond. I think it is. All right, my friends. We're gonna do a giant scoop and let a bunch of these guys go all at once. All right, my friends. Goodbye, go back, Go back to your respective schools your schools of fish and try not to get eaten by predators later. Amen. There's just a ridiculous amount of fish here. It's crazy. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Trust me. Look at that, look at that SM. Oh my God, we got the treble again. No, we did not. Yeah, we did. Now it's in your net. I wonder how that feels, huh? No, I just, you know, people, really, people have no regard. See, me and Jack put this in the- we put it in our aquarium knowing we're gonna take it out. Yeah, knowing we're gonna take it home, we took this treble hook we put it in the aquarium because we know we're gonna take this thing home. And it got stuck on our net again. Now we put it in the bucket. There we go. Is there another one in there? Yeah, there's another trap. What an epic day today is setting up this tank. We're about to let all these fish go. I'm gonna dump them all out. Drop a like if you guys wanna see this video again at a different spot, doing a tank 
Then we can do some ponds up in a bunch of spots. We have tons of ideas with this concept and you guys seem to absolutely love it. Drop a like on this video if you guys did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Deuce.